Today's video is gonna get a lot of you excited. We're gonna talk about cheat meals, okay? The most important thing to remember with a cheat meal is they're not exactly a bad thing if you do them every now and again. A cheat meal is gonna help jump your metabolism and keep your body guessing. Just like working out, if you continue to do the same thing over and over every single week, then your body grows accustomed to it and will slowly adapt and you won't see the same benefits. So what a cheat meal can do for you is you're gonna take in more calories than you have been consuming and it's gonna help bring up your metabolism. It's gonna keep your body guessing and it's gonna help jump your metabolism as you have the cheat meal. Now the key thing to remember here is that it's a cheat meal, not a cheat day, not a cheat week. Uh, just like any other type of meal, if you continue to eat and eat and eat, you can ruin your whole calorie deficit for the day or for the week or for the month, depending on how much you eat. The key to having a successful cheat meal and still achieve your weight loss is to plan for your cheat meals. So if you have a holiday coming, you wanna write it on the calendar and expect to have your cheat meal that day. If, if you wanna build it in on like say a weekend, a week from now, so that we're still maintaining that calorie deficit, that's how you wanna do it. It's not simply going to a restaurant and going, hmm, I'll have my cheat meal tonight because I'm here. Because what happens there is you're gonna have it then, you're gonna have it the next day, and the next day. It needs to be something that you can look forward to so that you can plan on losing weight weeks and weeks and weeks and then throw in a cheat meal to keep you motivated. It's really hard to stay on track and really cut out enough calories to lose weight with not ever satisfying those needs that you have, that ice cream that you may want, or maybe that you know Hershey chocolate bar that you may desire. Now that we know how to schedule our cheat meal, the key is to now understand portion size. We don't wanna eat the entire pizza like I said earlier, we wanna manage it, okay? So say you got a holiday season coming up, it's coming to be Thanksgiving, okay? Now what we wanna do is we still wanna eliminate the complete overeating. So you're not gonna have six pieces of pie because it's your cheat meal day. You're gonna limit the amount of bad stuff but you're still gonna satisfy those urges that you're having and get a little bit of the bad stuff so you can keep pushing for the calorie deficit every single week. So remember, cheat meals aren't always a bad thing. We still wanna limit the amount of cheat meals we have because we wanna maintain a calorie deficit. If you wanna lose the most amount of weight in 60 days, you're looking at having maybe three cheat meals the entire 60 days. Once a week is plenty. Once every two weeks is probably gonna be more beneficial because we're, then we're gonna get more weight loss through the one week and a little less the second, but we're gonna be able to keep maintaining a calorie deficit because we're not ready to binge. That's really the key to the whole cheat meal. It's maintaining that calorie deficit while you know splurging just a little, but not ever binge eating. That's what's gonna make us gain weight. That's what's gonna make us fall off the bus. So use a cheat meal to help you be successful, but again, plan for it and look forward to it so that we're not simply overeating when it's convenient.